So if you ask my recommendation for the best mid-range Android tablet right now, my easy answer is the Xiaomi Pad 6. It gets practically everything right for the price, which goes on to show how just good Xiaomi tablets have gotten both in terms of hardware and software. But Samsung is an incredibly trusted name in the Android tablet space as well, and the company's new Galaxy Tab S9 FE looks like another solid mid-range tablet. It's a bit more expensive than the Xiaomi Pad 6, but it does have its own perks, like an S Pen included inside the box, an official IP68 rating, more polished software, etc. So the question has to be asked, should you go with the Tab S9 FE or should you save a few bucks on the Xiaomi Pad 6? Uh, well, to answer this, I've been using both of these tablets for a couple of weeks and in this video, I'll be sharing all my experience with the Galaxy Tab S9 FE and the Xiaomi Pad 6 to help you make a more informed buying decision. So let's begin. <music> Okay, the first thing you need to consider is although you need to buy a pen from Xiaomi separately, this combo is still more affordable than the Tab S9 FE. And this second gen Xiaomi smart pen is pretty darn good if you really, really want a pen to go with your tablet. But Samsung's S Pen isn't any less impressive either. It's perfectly workable for taking notes, casual doodling, or even drawing sketches. I did notice a bit of input delay, although that's so not a big deal. Whereas things like quick preview and being able to scribble on text field instead of typing are awesome to have too. Design-wise, both Samsung and Xiaomi have gone with a more premium-feeling metal build on these tablets with flat edges and a fairly slim profile. And this is pretty much as good as it gets for a mid-range tablet in terms of the build quality. The Tab S9 FE is a tad heavier than the Xiaomi Pad 6 on paper, but when holding them side by side, it's quite hard to tell since Samsung has nailed the weight distribution on this thing. The Tab S9 FE also impresses with its fingerprint sensor, IP68 dust and water resistance, and 5G connectivity. I would have liked to see a cellular variant of the Xiaomi Pad 6 because it can get quite useful, especially if the tablet is for your kid or if you're a professional, say like a doctor, who needs to download research papers every now and then. Anyway, the Xiaomi Pad 6 has its own perks, like the USB 3.2 port that enables wicked fast data transfer and the ability to connect to an external 4K display. And since the Galaxy Tab S9 FE still only has a USB 2.0 connection, it does not even support DeX for desktop-like experience. This is especially disappointing because the older Galaxy Tab S7 FE actually supported wireless DeX mode. As for the display, both these tablets feature good quality LCD panels with a tall 16 is to 10 aspect ratio. And when looking at their spec sheet, the Xiaomi Pad 6 has some pretty obvious advantages, right? including a sharper pixel density and a richer 10-bit color depth. But uh, be it when I'm playing a game or reading the latest One Piece chapter, these two displays don't look all that different to my eyes. And although the Galaxy Tab S9 FE also gets a lot brighter, I think the 144Hz refresh rate on the Xiaomi Pad 6 makes a much bigger difference in everyday usage instead, trust me. On a big screen, the Tab S9 FE's 90Hz display just does not feel as fast or responsive as you'd want. Its response time is also rather slow and I often notice pixel trails aka coasting when quickly swiping through the UI or something. Even after dialing down the system animation to exactly half, it still cannot keep up with the fluidity of the Xiaomi Pad 644Hz display in any meaningful way. Although for the most part, these two are pretty even on the media consumption front. I watched a ton of 4K movies and shows and they had no trouble playing it at all. In HDR playback though, the Xiaomi Pad 6 still struggles with tone mapping for true HDR playback, even though it is HDR certified and everything, while the Tab S9 FE can only play local HDR videos. For audio, the quad speakers on the Xiaomi Pad 6 is a clear winner over Samsung's dual speaker setup. It gets louder and is more detailed and sounds more fuller as well. Alright, let's talk performance now and right away I am slightly disappointed with Samsung here because the Galaxy Tab S9 FE uses the pretty average Exynos 1380 chip that we saw on the Galaxy A54 smartphones. Whereas the Snapdragon 870 chip on the Xiaomi Pad 6 is arguably one of Qualcomm's best, most well-optimized mobile processors so far. And this becomes clear as day when running benchmarks or in real-world usage itself. 
I'm definitely not saying that the Tab S9 FE's performance is absolutely trash or anything. It can handle casual web scrolling, video streaming, and multi-window workouts just fine, but the occasional bits of stutter every now and then is pretty frustrating on such a relatively high-end machine. And maybe it's because I'm using the base model with just 6 gigs of RAM, I also had some apps reload on me after some time. Even when it comes to gaming, the Xiaomi Pad 6 is the better optimized of the two. Um, literally all the games that I tried like Asphalt 9, Call of Duty, PUBG, Genshin Impact play more smoothly on the Xiaomi Pad 6, that too with better graphics and cooler temperatures. Okay, let's talk about software side of things now and this is something where Samsung has always had an upper hand and the way it has repurposed One UI for a large screen device over the years really shows on the Tab S9 FE. I like how the control panel so intuitively pops up depending on where I open it from or how uh, having multiple apps open at the same time is so much easier and elegant here. Its taskbar that I can access from anywhere is uh, extremely useful for multitasking too which is missing on the Xiaomi Pad 6. Whereas Samsung's ecosystem features like app continuity and auto switch buds come in handy every now and then as well. Similarly, Samsung also promises four years of major OS and five years of security updates for the Tab S9 FE. Uh, but in contrast, Xiaomi has not committed to any update cycle for the Pad 6. But I still have high praise for how reliable MIUI for Pad has gotten over the years. And after using both of these tablets side by side, I feel like most people should be happy with the features and the usability of MIUI for Pad just fine. Okay, now camera-wise, the Tab S9 FE comes with an 8 megapixel sensor at the back and a 12 megapixel one on the front, whereas the Xiaomi Pad 6 has a 13 plus 8 megapixel setup going on for itself. And the images from both their main lens live up to the tablet camera stereotype with not a lot of detail in the shot. It's fine for scanning documents or taking quick shots when you don't have your smartphone near you, but that's about it. However, the front camera, both sitting in a landscape orientation, are pretty great for attending online classes and such. The Tab S9 FE and the Pad 6 can even track you around the frame to keep you in focus during video calls. In any case, Samsung's video quality is better in most scenarios with a wider field of view and 4K recording option. As for battery life, I found it to be neck and neck between these two. The Xiaomi Pad 6 does have a larger battery, but it's also fueling a power-hungry 144Hz screen and everything. So all in all, I was getting around 8 hours of screen on time on average on both of them. I'm also giving a slight advantage to the Pad 6 in terms of charging since Xiaomi ships a compatible 33 watt charger inside the box itself, whereas you will need to buy a 25 watt or a 45 watt power brick separately for the Galaxy Tab S9 FE. Okay, so let's wrap up things now. Uh, so should you get the Galaxy Tab S9 FE or the Xiaomi Pad 6? For me, I think the Xiaomi Pad 6 is still the best value for money option. It has got a much better performance and that's crucial for me since I multitask a lot and play a lot of games on a tablet. It also has much better speakers and since I do not use a pencil that often, the Xiaomi Pad 6 becomes much cheaper as well. However, the Tab S9 FE is not a bad option either, especially if you don't play games and you're just looking for a decent multimedia experience and absolutely need a pencil to go with it. Plus, the Tab S9 FE is also going to receive four years of OS updates, which means you'll be able to enjoy the latest Android tablet features in years to come. But still, there are a couple of things Samsung could have done better here to enhance the overall appeal of the Tab S9 FE. Um, number one, I think there should have been an option to purchase this tablet with the S Pen, making it more affordable and accessible for end users. And number two, instead of offering pricier features like IP68 rating, opting for just IP53 and going for a better chipset or an AMOLED screen would have been a wiser choice in my opinion. Okay, so everybody, that was my full comparison of the Xiaomi Pad 6 and Samsung's new Galaxy Tab S9 FE. Which one would you go for? Do let me know in the comments below. And till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and I'll see you in my next video.